Hi, my name is Janet and I'm from Harmony Schools. So my project is about the pitch of a sound. Do you know what the pitch of a sound depends on? Correct, it depends on frequency. These are gravity tubes and they create different sounds. Do you notice the difference? So what's going on here? The gravity tube has two ends, an open end and a closed end. If you switch it vertically towards the open end like this, we can see that the length of the tube in which the sound is created decreases while the wavelength also decreases, creating a, a higher frequency and a higher pitch in the shrill sound. If you switch it to the other side for the closed end like this, the length of the tube in which the, the sound is created increases while the wavelength also increases, creating having the frequency lower and the pitch also lower, creating a great sound. Now let's do one more thing. If I make it oscillate in the open end like this, that sound is created because the wavelength is small, the frequency is high, and the pitch is high, and the sound of the oscillation is shrill. Now, if you switch it to the closed end and you make it oscillate in the closed end like this, we hear that sound because the wavelength is longer, creating having the frequency lower and the pitch lower, and the sound of the oscillation is great. You want to hear it one more time? difference? Now let's increase the intensity of the sound with two, now three, even four. Because they are identical tubes they have the same natural frequency. According to the superposition principle the, there will be constructive interference. Therefore, the amplitude of the sound increases and we hear a louder sound. Thank you for watching Harmony Schools.